In this episode, I'm going to be giving you a little overview of how Statomic works, and then I'll get into building a simple blog. So I've got a fresh Statomic install here, and I've already blown away the default London Wild theme and sample content, giving us a clean slate to start with. I've also dropped in the new Kindling theme, which is really just a base starter with all the default folders and files ready to go. Let's get into some code. So I'm going to start a new Sublime project. I'm going to take the config, content, and themes directories, which is really everything we need to get started. Everything else is really system files. So the first place we're going to start is settings. and We're going to update the site name. We'll call it Statomic Demo. Change the URL. We'll change the theme name to Kindling. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it Kindling for now. Let's confirm the site is actually working. Ah, uh, blank. That's what I'd expect. Now that we're up and running, let's talk about how Statomic loads a given page. Each page request begins by rendering a layout file. And by default, Statomic uses the, you guessed it, default layout. The layout file removes the need to repeat code by manually including your header and footer embeds at the top and bottom of every template which also cuts down on your file requests, so it keeps your code simple and dry. So the contents of your layout file are global throughout the entire site. So let's add a site header as an example. Site name is a global variable from your config file. And we'll put a little horizontal rule here. There we go. That looks great. Well, wow. so that's the layout file. The next piece of a page request is your content file. Now, the URL of the page request will determine which content file Statomic is going to load. In this case, we'll want to render the home page, so let's start there. We're going to create a page.md file in the content directory. There we go. Now each content file consists of two parts. The first is the content fields, which is also known as YAML front matter in systems like Jekyll. Everything between two sets of triple dashes is part of the content fields. Now this area uses YAML markup to create variables that you can use in your templates to display content and other assets. Now the only required field is title. In this case, we'll set the title to home. Everything below the content fields area is called the content, capital C. By default, this area is parsed as markdown, but you can also use text style, HTML, or even plain text by changing your config settings. So let's create a little bit of content. There we go. Now let's put all this together. The remaining piece of the puzzle is the template. Now, templates are HTML files used to display page and entry content. And just like layout files, you'll have access to the Statomic templating language as well as global and page variables. So by default, Statomic will load the default template. So let's connect the content file to the layout file and be done with it. Terrible at spelling 12 and columns. So bear with me. Okay, so we want to show the title. So let's use the title variable and the content variable. Now, the contents of your template are going to be rendered wherever you place your layout content variable. And that's how the connection works. So you go from page content to template, to layout. Let's see the fruit of our labor. Awesome. So let's extend this, make a couple more pages just for good measure, right? 
So we'll go to our content directory and let's see, we'll have an about page. And inside the about page, we'll create another page.md file. All right, so the folder structure in your content directory will dictate your URLs. So, slash about will load the about directory in the page file. And this isn't limited to just directories. We can also drop just standard markdown files in here. So say you wanted a team page, just call it team.md. and go to about slash team and we can make a subdirectory And reordering your navigation is literally this easy. Let's get beyond pages and into something more dynamic, the blog. The best way to do this would be to leverage what we call entries. An entry is a date or numerically prefixed series of content files in any given folder. Basically the same as a page file, except with something at the beginning of the file name. In the case of a blog, dates are an important bit of data, so we're going to head in that route. Let's start by creating a blog folder. From here, the first thing we're going to do is create the outer landing page of the blog section. So that would be your page.md file. And we're going to use a new template here. We're going to call it blog uh, listing. That should be enough to get us started. Next, we'll create that template file. And we'll come back to this shortly. Let me close a few of these older files down. We don't need them right now. All right, and there we go. All right, so we're gonna create a few blog entries so that we have some content to work with. So we're gonna open up the blog directory. And the date format is year, month, day and then your URL slug. So hello wilderness. We'll create two just for good measure. All right, now let's put this all together and get it on the screen. Let's go to the blog page and it's loading the blog listing template. So right now uh, we're not pulling any of that content in so we're gonna have to set that up. I'm just gonna duplicate a little bit of the default page. Okay, and then down here we're going to pull the blog entries in. So we're going to use the entries listing tag and pull it from the blog folder. 
and say limit five. Like we know we only have two, but we'll plan for the future. Let's close that tag out. Now inside, we have access to each individual file. So we've got the title and the date and the content. And that's all we need. So that pulls the content in. Now we're going to want to link to the single entry pages. So let's go in here and link to their URL. And these should load using the default page template and show up just fine. And there you have it a basic blog. Time to dance. She woulda told me that, ain't nothing wrong bringing the old me back. No mama know her body sell trophy glass. She worth every bit of some Chloe bags. Like damn, oh she woulda told me that, ain't nothing wrong bringing the old me back. No mama know her body sell trophy glass. She worth every bit of some Chloe bags. Like damn, oh she woulda told me that, ain't nothing wrong bringing the old me back. No mama know her body sell trophy glass. She worth every bit of some Chloe bags. Like damn, oh she woulda told me that, ain't nothing wrong bringing the old me back. No mama know her body sell trophy glass. She worth every bit of some Chloe bags. Like damn, oh she woulda told me that Ain't nothing wrong bringing the old me back No mama know her body sell trophy glass She worth every bit of some Chloe back Like damn